what up how's it going first let me start by saying don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are subscribed make sure to hit the notification bell shout out to all the new viewers shout out to all the subscribers and have a patreon with full length early reactions to things like this if you'd like to check it out look howard's acting totally different namaste and all that and jimmy was like i'll be damn you coming off of me this goddamn job and uh and it's also this thing of I don't recall if I covered this in a review of the last one. Jimmy has been doing a real good job, at least to the outside world and the viewer, of just completely cutting himself off from the memory of his brother. He's like, I'll move on with it. He goes and works with Howard. That will be, I mean, front and center at all times. People will keep bringing it up. He'll always be compared to his brother. Um, Like, even if they're doing work with other lawyers, they're... People will come up to, hey, your brother was such a respected, you know what I mean? Like, he'd have to deal with it. And so I would say that partially it seems that he's just trying to keep that separation between that portion of his life and where he's at now, right? And then also, Kim, she is who she is, right? They made sure to show after they threw all those bottles and shit, and then Jimmy is who he is. He goes, hey, somebody will clean it up, right? There's always somebody there to clean up his best, right? And who was there to clean up his best this time? It was Kim. Is in the middle of doing what she's doing. Even still, she was trying to help that man. Right? It, it's this thing of, yeah, she'll do the scumbag shit and all that, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, but remember, she is trying to help folks. She is doing pro bono work for people who would... I mean, the system would eat up over some, basically, these are minor offenses from what, I, from what I'm hearing. Like, yeah, it's, you know, we place a, place a high value on, like, property and shit like that. But, you know, a, your life could be thrown away. You could be in there with murderers and rapists and shit like that over some, you know, washing machines and shit like that. Uh, but, yeah, it seems now they got this plan. He had that horse. And the situation with the horse, he showed to the guy and the guy was like, <laughs> that changed his mind, right? But hey, let's go ahead and start this one. See how this goes and see what the actual plan is. All right. Hey, where is this place? Where am I? No hablo inglés. Por favor, tenga cuidado. No debería estarse moviendo. El doctor vendrá pronto. Who brought me here? Gustavo Fring. Siéntese. Mike, where the hell are you going? Look what you've done to all my fine work. What am I doing here? What's he want with me? He's asked me to keep you alive. We good so far? Mm -hmm. I think I might be seeing a hitch here. Wait, who are you? <laughs> I'm Saul Goodman. Attorney at law, glad to meet you. If you let everyone go right now, you might save half a day's salary in fringes. What the hell are you talking about? 11.30 at Royal Vista. Is there a problem? Well, I mean, is that where we are? There were house numbers on that mailbox, plain <laughs> as day, 11.30. <laughs> I don't see any. This you is deputy? stupid. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, somebody mess with them. This here's 12.40, Royal Vista. I got a plat map says we can straighten this out right now. Well, all due respect to whoever drew that map, but Mr. Acker's been living here for 30 years. I think he knows his own address. Sir, you got something with an address on it? <laughs> the man thought about it first, then went into the mailbox. He said, hmm, got something. <laughs> Great acting, Gramps. Same. 1240, Royal Vista. Listen, officer, before you go forcing an elderly veteran from his home and take everything he's got, demolish a half century of hard work, wouldn't you like to know you got the right place? I have to make a call. Tomorrow they're finally tearing the place down, right? And that's the plan. The lawyer Acker hired, it's Jimmy. Okay, so what now? In fairness to you, I'll withdraw from everything having to do with the Tucum Carry project. I smell a rat. <laughs> Kim, Acker hired Kim, you the rat. That's no coincidence. This fellow saw you for the killer you are, and he went and hired Jimmy specifically okay. to take you away from us. Okay. So, no, he's not going to let you go. This going to be tough on you at home? I just wouldn't want there to be any question of conflict of interest. 
Well, I'm not worried about that. If you're willing to stick with it, I say, why change horses midstream? And if I want to get back to where I belong? You're welcome to leave. You would go back to the road where I found you. However, as you are now, you would not survive the journey. I can uh, get a message to your family. They're fine. I go eat that damn food from Senora Cortazar. You better stop playing, man. That's gonna remind him of his granddaughter. Oh shit! Oh wow! Just thinking about you. How you doing? Fine. Glad to hear it. So, what's up? Just touching base. Like what's he called? To see if you've had any thoughts on what we talked about. Any conclusions? Uh, no. I'm just I'm mulling it over, you know, reflecting. Or I'm trying to give it the consideration that it deserves. Fair enough. Based off what Howard is doing, at first, even me, the viewer, I'm like, uh, what? What's going on? Is this, you know, play? What's going on here? Oh, he seems serious, and I feel like he really wants to make it up to him. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if his thinking is, you could be the Emin McGill, like, straight up. So, how'd it go with Kevin? Well, I'm still on the case. No shit, that's great! Paige and I meet him outside the clubhouse. Mm -hmm. And the three of us are at a table, and he's over here like this, and he says... Wait. He sits like that? Yeah, he's, he sits to the side. He's a side sitter. I guess so. Okay, well, you never told me that he was a side sitter. And that is gold. This is motherfucker Jimmy is good at reading people. Lawyer comes in, crazy comes out. <laughs> I need that call center real bad. I don't like waiting one bit. Never have, never will. Bottom line, breaking ground. What? Kevin? Yes, Kim? Would you care to take a shower with me? Well, shoot. I believe I would. <laughs> Here goes some hijinks. Oh, he about to charge his phone. Is, that, is this what's taking place? Let's see. Wait, is him and her gonna smash? <laughs> Why did I think I just assume You know like hold on in the movies You know she nurses you back to health She feeds you every day And after time you begin to form a bond It only starts when One day His hard exterior is cracked by her smile <laughs> And he finally He finally opens up to her In a way That was unforeseen and the past and now now they're making love on some rug from some like a uh, coyote or some shit <laughs> what the fuck did i just do is that fanfic i think i did my first breaking bad universe fanfic <laughs> mike and senora uh cortisol look at that uh oh she's cracking that exterior uh oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They may be separated by language. Gracias. But they're bonded by one common cause. I don't know what that cause is. There we go. That, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> when I first saw what she handed him, I was assuming that it was something that could help him with. <laughs> Making a charger. It's a charger charger. He's sitting there doing all that shit. They playing the music. We like, oh, he's about to kill it. She came in there like, here you go. Why am I here? Now is not a good time. Really? Sir, sir, please watch your step. Stop right there. What the hell? Please stay out of the grid. Now what? it makes sense. He was cracking up some clay pots to have shards all over the place. Okay. A day or two, a week at the most. A week? 
Come on. This is the same thing with the house numbers all over again. No, that was an honest mistake. This is the law. Says who? <laughs> Says the New Mexico Cultural Properties Act. Yo, these cops are bozos. <laughs> no. He's claiming there's a flaw in the original land grant from 1846. <laughs> He's just tying them up in litigation. I heard Uncle Phil say that one time when they were trying to free Will and Carlton from, from jail. He's claiming our prime contractor is an escaped felon. so ridiculous radiation's borderline we gotta get soil samples and i never thought i'd see a miracle with my very own eyes it's fucking hilarious look at this a blind man <laughs> somebody explain it i say we sue him right back sue acker sue goodman take the fight back to him going down that road could take years what if you don't build the call center or not at that location at least Suddenly, you're holding all the cards. There's nothing to delay. The other side's the one spending money with no hope of recovering their expenses. Lot 2375 is available, and our permits still apply. We'd still hit our target for getting the call center up and running. We took the liberty of running the numbers for you. The guys like him do the not like losing. Would be negligible. My dad See? did not raise me to run from a fight. Kevin, we're not I'm not going to roll over and let some low-life shyster bully me off my land. No offense, Kim. Wait, is shyster a race, racist term? I don't know. I always assumed it was. You're going to figure out a way to get them off my property. That call center's not moving one goddamn inch. Yeah, he not playing. You want the distance for the old SOB. Above and beyond. You should feel good about that. Putting me on this? That was bad. I mean... If anyone found out, mm. there's a lot for this guy. This time next week, Acker will be living somewhere else. Is that really such a big deal? Mesa Verde, that's your bread and butter. Mm. You can only push him so far. Right. There's always another play. Okay, here we go. But the rational thing to do here is close the deal, get the guy a few bucks, pop the champagne with the other winners, Smile like you mean it. Jimmy? There's no reason on God's green earth to take this any further. It's not worth it. Or? Or we go after Kevin Wachtel. Gets nasty, gets personal, gets dangerous. Okay. Okay. Hear me out because this is a good thing. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, get, I'm getting some kind of reverb or something. Uh, are you in a tunnel or? Yes. There's a lawyer hiring a PI. What do you say? So you're back to being a lawyer. Yeah, yeah totally legit, so yeah. Did I mention it's a paying gig? I'm not available. Say again. No. Uh-oh, it's a stormy night. They're gonna be both a little, a little soaked. Okay. Keep hoping. Keep hoping, man. Keep hope alive. You feel me? Debian. Good. Good. Uh, muy bueno. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Tomelo con calma. No tiene por qué hacer eso. No sea terco. Uh, it's okay. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. The one with all the guns, huh? I did the full workup as tasked. And? Snake eyes. Bupkis. Nada. You got an Eagle Scout with a six-figure income. No lunchtime quickies. No lady friend. No boy toy. The guy's dull. Like Saturday night in Salt Lake City dull. It I did a self-guided tour of his domicile, all seven bedrooms and four and a half baths. Hold on. You're saying you broke into <laughs> his house? All right, so you get in and you find what? Like I said, nothing. No, there's no such thing as nothing. No computers, motel art on the walls, paperwork on his desk. What kind of paperwork? <laughs> no. 
This is fucking stupid to me. You're this isn't yourself, even uh, like cool or anything. This weird shit. I might not be a nail salon lawyer, but I know legit when I see it. But there's a better way. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I get two more guys. Guys who know how to handle themselves. Oh, this. Is... Now we roll up to the subject in an unmarked van. We grab them, put them in a bag, and we take them out to the desert. Yeah, we're now, done here. The end we're of done. The day, the banker's giving you everything you're after. What? What is it? I'm thinking you could take a break from Mesa Verde. A break? Actually, a pair of mineral rights beefs just came in that practically have your name on them. This won't affect any of your compensation. And that includes your bonus. You know, Mesa Verde is fully informed of any potential conflicts. Kevin signed off himself. Still, I think you're going to need to take a break. I don't understand where this is coming from. Don't you? Kim. You think he's stupid? Sometimes the less said, the better. Right. And why is that? Do we have to? First, I had to twist your arm to get you down to Tukum Carry for the eviction. And abracadabra, your boyfriend's opposing counsel. I told you. I explained the situation to Kevin and Paige. Yeah, I know you did. And I'm sorry to say, I'm just not buying it. Rich! Rich, hold on. What are you saying exactly? Let's talk in my office. You are accusing me of something. <laughs> like this is dumb. Are you talking about malfeasance? Uh, yes. Working yes. against my client's interest? What? Yes. Please. Rich, tell me. You, you dummy. You worked my ass off to get here. Please tell me why I would risk everything for some squatter. Why? I don't understand. Are you, are you trying to protect the firm from what? Kim, I'm not trying to protect the firm. I'm trying to protect you. I don't need your protection. Okay, then bye. I need to represent my client. If that's how you want it. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. This whole thing is the stupid. Am I, am I alone on how stupid this is? 